Hey guys, Christian here. We just took this brand new listing in Rolling Hills Ranch, Chula Vista, California. It's five bedrooms, three baths. So we're going right into our preparation phase. And here we go. There's four phases when we sell any property. The first is preparation. Next comes marketing and advertising. Third is negotiation. And fourth is closing. Preparation is the most important part of any listing. We have the home inspection to be completed. We have the termite inspection. We have the improvements that need to be done to the property. We have the curb appeal done through our landscape architect. We are going to have the most amazing aspects of this home pointed out and highlighted for our marketing. We're going to stage the home professionally so that it looks perfectly ready to move into. It will look like a model. We want everyone and anyone who's looking in this area to see this home, to be able to make an offer and to collect all those offers and then go with the highest one, get it into escrow and get it closed as efficiently as possible. Our goal as listing broker is to maximize that value and hit a record breaking price for the neighborhood. We don't get paid unless we break the record. You heard me right unless we set a record-breaking price for this neighborhood, you pay us zero. The interior of this home is extremely basic with shag carpeting, linoleum floors in the kitchen and bathrooms. There's been no upgrades made to this house since the owners moved in. As with most houses prior to them being put on the market, there's a lot of clutter that needs to be cleaned up and removed. The kitchen is very basic with white tile countertops and oak style cabinets. The appliances are original and they appear to be working, although they do need a deep cleaning. The exterior of the home is in great condition and only needs some minor landscaping to make everything look great. The initial curb appeal is perfect for this home and 99% of the buyers who pull up are going to enjoy looking at the front and imagining themselves living here. The living room in the house is extremely spacious and the vaulted ceilings make it feel so much larger than it is. Make sure to smash that like button. The downstairs bathroom is very basic, but it does have a full shower, so it can be used by guests or other people that are staying at the home. The laundry room is right next to the garage and the washer and dryer will be included. The garage is the ideal place to store all of the owner's previous belongings when preparing for the sale. This home does have five bedrooms with one being downstairs. There's a mirrored closet which creates that spacious illusion. The downstairs bedroom can also be used as a home office which is a great benefit for potential buyers. The staircase has an extremely basic banister but it does open up to the downstairs living room which is nice. The master bedroom is a very good size and has the ideal balcony retreat that faces east to the mountains. This is going to create expansive views with no rear neighbors and it's going to be a key piece of our marketing. The master bathroom is again very basic with carpeting throughout which is kind of disgusting but that's the way that the homes came. It's not the best option when it comes to um, new buyers who are looking for either a tile or a, um, a, a landscape in the bathroom that makes it much better to absorb water and those types of things. It is nice to have the separate shower and bathtub and the master bath does include a nice size walk-in closet. The additional bedrooms all on the second story are typical size. There is also two a Jack and Jill bathroom that connects two of the bedrooms and services all three of the upstairs bedrooms. Each bedroom is about 120 square feet or so, which is typical. You're gonna see most bedrooms are about 11 by 11 or 12 by 10. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification so that you'll be notified when we post additional videos and follow us along the journey to get this home sold. Overall, the home is very basic. There's very few upgrades that have been done to the interior. It is in good condition, but it is missing a lot of the key features that buyers are looking for. It's going to be a challenge to present the home to the most potential buyers, 
we probably will get a very good variety of people that come through, but a lot of them are gonna be looking to do upgrades to the home once they do buy it. So that's gonna affect our ultimate purchase price and what we do get when it comes to offers for the home. In this case, we're probably gonna highlight the neighborhood, schools, pools, parks. The family environment to this neighborhood is going to sell this home much more than the home itself. Okay, let's take a look at what Zillow, Realtor.com, and Redfin have to say about what this home is worth. Zillow says that it's worth about $713,000. Redfin, on the other hand, says that the home is worth about $715,000. Realtor.com has the value at $710,000. My goal as the real estate broker is to blow all three of these estimates out of the water and get the most potential offers on this property so that people bid it up. We want to get tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars more than what the estimates are saying. In the next few days, we're going to prepare the home for the market. The first step is to get the home inspection done so that we can determine what's wrong with the house that we can't see. We need to fix those things ahead of time and also to make any improvements that we can to make this more desirable to all potential buyers. So come along on this journey with us as we attempt to set another record-breaking price in this neighborhood. Make sure to leave a comment below on what you feel this home will sell for. So, if there's any question that you've got that's real estate related, feel free to go to my website, christianpeter.com, schedule a quick 15-minute video chat. We can discuss anything that you'd like to, including what your home will sell for.